Gas prices are down, the job market is still hot, and yet the White House is on the defense, waiting on some important economic reports due out this week. But with inflation at a 40-year high, are Americans buying the Biden administration's stance? Mike Emanuel has more from Washington. Summer vacations are in full swing with gasoline prices dropping, travelers packing the roads, skies and beaches. And that's exactly what the White House is hoping for as the Biden administration downplays recession fears. This is not an economy that's in recession, but we're in a period of transition in which growth is slowing and that's necessary and appropriate. Multiple key reports coming out this week should give us a clearer picture of our economic standing. And the White House trying to get ahead of some potential grim numbers, including a second quarter of negative growth, which would signal a recession. We can't fix a problem that we don't think exists. But Americans are questioning the rosy picture the Biden administration is painting as they pay more to dine out or fill their grocery carts. Inflation is eating away at their pocketbooks. What they're trying to do is tell the people in this country not to believe what they're experiencing. And the American people know what they're experiencing in their personal economy. I think what the White House has to focus on is to demonstrate everything that they that possibly can be doing to try to lower energy costs and sustain that, to try to ensure that food prices come down, mm -hmm. and to try to ensure that uh, we, we continue to create jobs in this economy. To help combat inflation, the Fed's expected to raise interest rates another three quarters of a percent on Wednesday. In Washington, Mike Emanuel, Fox News.